Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, myself Professor Uday Bhukre and now I am welcoming you on your own YouTube channel Ikeda. Hope you are watching my videos regularly and getting benefit out of that. Friends, if you are watching my video for first time, I request you to subscribe to our channel Ikeda and also press bell icon for your latest notifications. Today, we are going to learn for CA Intercourse Advanced Accountancy subject, topic name Internal Reconstruction, question number 1, which is on your screen. The balance sheet of A and Company Limited as on 31st December 2000X1 is as follows. So balance sheet is provided to you. Fixed asset which include freehold property, plant, patent, goodwill. Trade investment at cost. Current asset include trade receivable and inventory. PL account is given on the asset side. So it must be the loss amount. It must be a debit balance of PNL. Liabilities include share capital 4006% cumulative preference shares of rupees 100 each, 75,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 6% debentures secured on freehold property 3,75,000, accrued interest on that 20 to 500. Current liabilities include bank overdraft, trade payable, and director's loan. It is what the liability is provided. Now let us read what is given further. Code approved. Court approved. A scheme of reorganization to take effect on 1st January 2000X1. So, court takes scheme of scheme of repeat. So, court have approved one scheme whereby what is given in the scheme? Let us read one by one. Preference shares to be written down to rupees 75 each. Written down to rupees 75 each. And equity shares 2 rupees 2. So I can say return down. So there will be a profit to the company. Of the preference dividend which are in arrears for 4 years. It is arrears for 4 years. Let us see what is preference capital. 4 lakhs. At the rate of 6% it comes to 24,000. So total 96,000 dividend must be in arrear. 3 fourth is to be waived. Unrecorded liability is waived. We will not pass any entry for that. 3 fourth is waived. And equity shares of 2 each to be allotted for the remaining quarter. So remaining amount equity shares of rupees 2 each were allotted. So 1 fourth of this will be 24,000. We have given shares of rupees 2 each. Right, so we must have given 12,000 shares of 2 each to settle this unrecorded liability. To the extent liability paid, it is your loss. Accrued interest on debenture is to be paid in cash. So it is your accrued interest, it will be paid in cash. Debenture holders agree to take over freehold property, the book value of rupees 1 lakh at a valuation of rupees 1 lakh 20,000. So firstly, property is appreciated by 20,000 and then it is taken over by the debenture holder. In part, repayment of their holding and to provide additional cash of rupees 1,20,000. Not only that, they will further give me 1,30,000 rupees cash secured by a floating charge on company's asset at an interest of 8% per annum. So I can say fresh debentures are issued to them which are secured on floating charge on company's assets and the rate of interest will be 8% per annum. Patent and goodwill is to be written off. Inventory to be written down or written, written off. Inventory to be written off by rupees 65,000. Amount of 68,500 is to be provided for a bad debts. Remaining freehold property to be revalued at rupees 3,87,500. Trade investment to be sold at rupees 1,40,000. Directors to accept settlement of their loan as to 90% thereof by allotment of equity shares of 2 each, 5% in cash and balance 5% being waived. There were capital commitment totaling to rupees 2,50,000. These contracts are to be cancelled on payment of 5% of the contract price as a penalty. So it is your loss. 
ignore taxation and the cost of the scheme. You are requested to show journal entries reflecting the above transactions including cash transactions and prepare the balance sheet of company after completion of the scheme. So they are asking you to prepare a journal in respect of the company which is now going to get reconstructed internally. So we have to pass journal entries and then we need to prepare a balance sheet. So let us begin with preparation of journal. Friends, now I am ready with my journal format. So here is a journal format. I will record all transaction one by one. Separate entry I will record for each of the transaction. Preferences to be written down means it is reduced to rupees 75. What is the existing value of preference share? It is 100. Can you see it is 100? It is reduced to 75. So there is a benefit of 25 rupees to the company. Similarly, equity shares are reduced to 2 rupees. Equity share face value is 10. It is reduced to 2. So again, there is a benefit to the company to the extent of 8 rupees. Now, they are not mentioning whether face value has changed, whether paid up value has changed. We will always assume face value has reduced. So my entry will be a gross entry, old capital account debit to new capital account and remaining amount we will transfer to the capital reduction. We will pass separate entry for each of these reduction. So students, you can notice the entry, preference share capital old which was 100 debited, earlier there were, earlier there were 4000 shares of 100 each, old capital is cancelled so it is debited. In place of that, new capital is placed 4,000 shares of rupees 75 each. Face value is 75. Amount is 3 lakhs. So how much overall reduction we got? We got 1 lakh which is a benefit to the company and which is transferred to special account. Capital reduction account which is open for internal reconstruction. Narration is being face value of preferentials reduced. Short and sweet narration. It is how we have recorded first transaction of reduction in the face value of preferentials. Similar entry I will record for my equity shares. Friends, I have debited equity share capital of rupees 10 which is old capital. Earlier there were 75,000 shares of 10 each. So capital cancelled is 7,50,000. It is reduced to rupees 2 each. So in future there will be 75,000 shares of 2 each. My capital will be 1,50,000. From company's perspective, there is a benefit of rupees 6 lakhs, which is a balancing figure. Being face value of equity shares reduced, it is a short and sweet narration. Let's go with the next. First is done. Of the preference share dividend, which are in arrears for 4 years, which amounts to 96,000, 3 fourth is waived. See, it is contingent liability. If it is cancelled, we will not pass any entry. But if it is paid, it become a loss to the company. So they are saying 3 fourth is waived and equity shares of rupees 10 is to be allotted for the remaining quarter that is 1 fourth. So 1 fourth of 96,000, we are paying 24,000. We are paying that amount which is not our liability in the balance sheet. So it is your loss. Your entry will be capital reduction account debit to equity share capital which is a mode of payment. So I am writing the entry. Friends, you can notice entry, capital reduction account debit, because we are settling contingent liability, it is your totally loss, amount 24,000. We are settling them by issuing equity shares of 2 each. So considering 24,000, I must have issued them 12,000 shares of rupees 2 each, amount is 24,000. Being settlement of preferred dividend in arrears by issue of equity shares. So we have done this transaction also. Let's go with the next. Accrued interest on debenture is to be paid in cash. Your accrued interest is 20 to 500. I will say accrued interest account debit to cash or bank. So let's record the entry. So friends, you can notice the entry. Accrued debenture interest account debit to cash or bank. Being accrued interest is paid in cash. Importantly, ye unrecorded liability nahi. Ye apna recorded liability pay hua hai. Skill capital reduction account nahi aaya. If I compare this with my earlier entry, preferred dividend I paid was unrecorded. Therefore, it was a loss. I debited it to capital reduction. But my recorded liability is paid. So, I will say debit liability account and I will credit mode of payment which is cash or bank. Let's go with the next transaction. So, students, let's see the next transaction. Debenture holders agree to take over freehold property book value of rupees 1 lakh at a valuation of rupees 1 lakh 20,000. The first thing which happened here, 
is your freehold property is revalued by 20,000. It is appreciated by 20,000 and then it is taken over by debenture holder in part settlement of their amount. Let us see what is the amount of debenture. It was 3,75,000. Out of that can't I say 1,20,000 gets settled? 1,20,000 they have settled. And what they are saying further? to provide additional cash. So they are giving you additional cash. So I can say fresh debentures are issued, secured by floating charge on company's asset and interest rate is 8% per annum. So additional debentures were issued. So let us find out which transaction I need to record. Number one, revaluation of freehold property. Number two, it is given to your debenture holder in part satisfaction of their claim. And number three, Fresh debentures are issued for cash having a floating charge on company's assets. So there are overall three transactions here. So student, you can notice firstly we have revalued freehold property for the purpose of takeover. Entry is freehold property account debit to capital reduction account. Being freehold property revalued for takeover by debenture holder. Entry number 6, you can notice 6% debenture account debit to freehold property account. This revalued property is taken over by whom? Debenture holder in part discharge of their liability. So being freehold property taken over by debenture holder in part satisfaction. That means remaining amount is still there which will continue in your balance sheet. Further, they also mention that they are giving you cash of rupees 130,000 by floating charge on assets. So these are the fresh debentures. Cash or bank account debit to 8% new debentures account. These debentures will appear in your balance sheet as a new long term borrowing. Being free debentures issued for cash. Let us go with the next transaction. Next transaction is patent and goodwill is to be written off. So these are the assets. They are written off. So those will be credited and it will be debited to your capital reduction account. So student, you can notice I recorded the entry capital reduction account debit to patent account and to goodwill account because those two assets are written off. Simple entry. It is your loss to the company. So it is debited to the capital reduction being patent and goodwill written off. Let's see the next. Next they gave you inventory to be written off by rupees 65,000. Again, same kind of loss capital reduction account debit to inventory account. Students, you can notice capital reduction account is debited, inventory account is created. So inventory is written off to the extent of 65,000 being inventory written off. Let's see the next transaction. Amount of 68,500 to be provided for bad debts. So we have to create RDD of 68,500. Entry will be capital reduction account debit to RDD account. So friends, you can see my entry capital reduction account debit to RDD account. RDD is created as per the instruction in the question. Let's go with the next one. Remaining freehold property to be revalued at rupees 387,500. Firstly, I need to understand what is remaining freehold property. You must be remembering students, property worth rupees 1 lakh. Revalued at 120, it was taken over by the debenture holder. So can I say my property may say already 1 lakh many minus kar liya hai? So 1 lakh property has already gone. So let me see what is remaining freehold property. This is your freehold property total. Of this 1 lakh is already taken over by debenture holder. So remaining property is 3 lakh 25,000. Question says that this is revalued at rupees how much? At rupees 387,500. So there is an appreciation of the property. So let us record the entry freehold property account debit to capital reduction for the difference amount. Friends, entry is here in front of you. Freehold property account debit to capital reduction. Remaining freehold property was book value 325,000. It was revalued at 387,500. So there is a gain of rupees 60 to 500, which is credited to capital reduction account. This revalued figure will be placed in your balance sheet on asset side as a freehold property. Let's see the next transaction. Trade investment to be sold for rupees 140,000. Let us see the book value. Trade investment book value is 55,000. It is sold for higher amount. It is sold for rupees 140,000. So there is a profit and that profit we will credit to capital reduction account. Friends entry is here right in front of you. Cash or bank account is debited with selling price. Capital reduction account is credited for a balancing figure which is your profit and book value of investment is credited to the trade investment account. 
55,000. So whatever is the profit here, balancing figure 85,000, we have credited to the capital reduction account. Let's see the next transaction. Directors to accept settlement of their loan as to 90% thereof by allotment of equity shares of 2 each. 5% in cash and balance 5% being waived. Can I say director loan is settled? Three different ways we have refunded. First, we give them equity shares. Next, we give cash. And next, directors have waived off this 5% amount, which is capital reduction account credit. Let us pass the entry. Friends, you can see the entry. Director loan account debit to equity share capital to the extent of 90%, which is settled by way of equity shares. We must have given them 45,000 shares of two each. Cash paid is 5%. Remaining amount which is waived capital reduction account credit being settlement of director's loan. So simple entry we have recorded. So in future director loan will not come in your balance sheet because it is settled. There were capital commitment. That means there is a some commitment of the company totaling to rupees 2,50,000. These contracts are cancelled. So when you cancel the contract, other party always suffer. Here we are paying them 5% of the contract price as a penalty. From company's perceptive, it is your loss, your entry will be capital reduction account debit to cash or bank. So students, you can notice capital commitment is cancelled by paying a penalty, your entry is capital reduction account debit to cash or bank account, being capital commitment cancelled by paying penalty. Next question says, ignore taxation and cost of scheme. Friends, I just want to ask. Why we implemented the scheme? We implemented the scheme so that our losses should be written off. Let me see how much profit is still available to write off the loss because we have a huge amount of debit balance of PL account which is placed on the asset side of the balance sheet. Let me show you that. This is very important reason why we implemented the scheme. Or if it's not write off, then the scheme ka matlab hi nahi hai. So I will prepare in rough capital reduction account and decide whether sufficient money is available and with that money I will try to write off my debit balance of profit and loss account. Friends, you can notice in this working note I prepared a capital reduction account which is basically a rough account. It is not the proper account. Here I will just debit and credit various amount I have used in the capital reduction account and I will decide whether sufficient fund is available or not. So what I am doing now, I am just posting whatever journal entries we have done in which account, capital reduction account. Students, you can notice in this capital reduction account, I have placed all amounts according to the entries. You can notice some amounts are placed on credit, some amounts are placed on debit. Simply, I prepared a capital reduction account and now I come to know that there is a credit balance of capital reduction account 535,000, which is sufficient enough to write off your profit and loss account. So here I will record 15th entry to write off our profit and loss. So here lastly, I will write off my profit and loss, which is exactly 535,000. So my entry will come, 15th entry will come, capital reduction account debit to profit and loss, which is my last entry. Friends, so my last entry is ready. Capital reduction account debit to profit and loss account. Amount is 535,000. Being debit balance of PL account is written off. Yeh ho gai journal entries. Question is also asking you to prepare a balance sheet. So we'll prepare the balance sheet with the help of entries and previous balance sheet. Friends, I am ready with the format of balance sheet. Here I will note down the balance sheet items. If there is a single item, I will directly record. If there are multiple items with the adjustment, I will prepare a note for that. So let us proceed. First thing what I will write is shareholders fund. Under shareholders fund, I will write A share capital. There are so many adjustments in share capital. So I will prepare a note number one for share capital. There is no reserve surplus. So I need not to prepare that. Why reserve surplus hamare paas nahi hai. Number two will be your non-current liability. Looking at the existing balance sheet, you can notice there is only one long term borrowing which is debenture but there are new also debentures. So I will make a note for that long term borrowing note number two. Number three is your current liabilities. In current liabilities, 
ए वी राइट शॉर्ट टर्म बोरोविंग हमारे पास पहले बैंक ओवरड्राफ्ट था कैन यू सी बैंक ओवरड्राफ्ट वन नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड This I will adjust with my cash and bank account. Cash and bank account is nothing but a bank account also included. So bank order we are assuming it is a credit balance of bank, and when we prepare the cash or bank account, it will get adjusted. So for that I will prepare a working note to decide whether there is a overdraft or there is a cash balance. Friends, in this cash or bank account, I will record overdraft as a opening figure. Now. In the same manner, I have prepared capital deduction account. I will post all those entries where cash or bank account is getting affected. So I will record everything. Friends, you can notice I have prepared a cash or bank account. Debit side total is two lakh seventy thousand, and on credit side there is a balance of thirty five thousand. So it is closing debit balance, which is normal cash or bank balance, which will be placed in the balance sheet on the asset side. So liability side पे कोई short term borrowing नहीं है. We have to write next item of the liability. Next item is trade payable. In our question, there is a single amount and there is no change in that, so I will copy that. We write here first short term borrowing, next is trade payable. Number three, other current liabilities we don't have. Number four is short term provision. In this example, we created RDD. Alternatively, it can be reduced from the debtors, but we can also show it on the liability side. So we are showing it on the liability side as a short term provision RDD. Since there is only one item, I will place in the bracket. Amount is sixty eight five hundred, and this one is a new item. This is only what I can record on the liability side. Note number one and two we will prepare. Second part of your balance sheet is assets. In assets, number one I will write non-current assets. Under non-current assets, a we record fixed assets. Under fixed asset, number one I will write tangible. In tangible fixed asset, we have two items. freehold property as well as plant so i will prepare a note as far as patent and goodwill is concerned it is written off so i will not record intangible assets i will record only tangible with the help of note look at the balance sheet trade investments were already sold so this also will not come current asset we have a trade receivable and inventories there is no change in your trade receivable so i will put up directly because rdd we have taken as a liability item Inventory there is a change, so I will prepare a note. Trade receivable there is no change, so I will directly record. RDD we have recorded as a liability. See your cash and cash equivalent, which is cash and bank account. friends for cash and cash equivalent we prepared a working note for cash or bank account and as per working note we have 35000 ka cash or bank balance in this way my asset side is also complete now i have to prepare only note number 1 2 3 and 4 let us prepare notes forming the part of account note number 1 is for share capital under share capital i will write authorized capital first friends authorized capital is not mentioned in the example so i will put a question mark merely an information then i will write issued subscribed and paid up for writing this i need to take the help of my question as well as my solution also earlier there were 4006% cumulative preferences of 100 each they are written off they are written off to rupees 75 each aapka pehla entry hua tha to naya share jo 75 ka hai इसके अलावा प्रेफरेंशियस का कोई भी ट्रांजैक्शन नहीं है सो इन माय न्यू बैलेंस शीट देयर विल बी सेम नंबर ऑफ प्रेफरेंशियस बट अमाउंट विल बी 75 फाइव ईच फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स परसेंट प्रेफरेंशियस ऑफ रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव ईच इट इज रिड्यूस्ड कैपिटल इट इज थ्री लैक्स एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी रिकॉर्डेड इन अवर जर्नल एंट्रीज प्रेफरेंशियस अर्लियर सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड वी नो दैट इन वेरी फर्स्ट एंट्री वी रिड्यूस इट टू रुपीज टू ईच चेक करो आपका फर्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शन उन्होंने दो रुपए में रिड्यूस किया था तो एग्जिस्टिंग नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स विल कंटिन्यू बिसाइड दैट सम न्यू शेयर्स आल्सो विल कम सो आई विल गो विद द एंट्रीज नाउ फ्रेंड्स लेट अस गो एंट्री बाय एंट्री यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हियर एग्जिस्टिंग टेन रुपीज शेयर इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू टू रुपीज शेयर सो सो एग्जिस्टिंग शेयर्स आर सेवेंटी देन यू कैन नोटिस इन थर्ड एंट्री वी गेव ट्वेल्व शेयर्स इन सेटलमेंट ऑफ प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स सो आई विल एड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इट इज नाउ एटी फर्दर यू कैन नोटिस 
there is no equity capital here there is no equity capital here from the entry number 5 to entry number 9 so it will not be counted you can notice we have issued 45,000 shares to our directors in settlement of their liability so I will add 45,000 so I will add 45,000 shares so overall 1,32,000 shares are there of these shares 1,32,000 32,000 shares, 45,000 were issued for consideration other than cash through directors for settlement of their liability. Also, in settlement of preferred dividend, also we gave the shares 12,000. So, that 12,000 and this 45,000, that comes to 57,000 shares which are issued for consideration other than cash. So, I gave a disclosure of the above 57,000 equity shares were issued for consideration other than cash. So, in this way, I have to take a total of my share capital now. In my balance sheet, I am noting down my share capital which is 5,64,000. Long term borrowing, once again, let me see my balance sheet first. In my balance sheet, accrued interest has been already paid. 6% debenture, 3,75,000. Out of that, certain amount is settled, 1,20,000. So, 3,75,000 may say 1,20,000 settle ho gaya. So, 2,55,000 amount is there for the existing debentures which are secured on a freehold property. 2,55,000 are my old debentures, 6% debentures and they are secured by freehold property. Question also mentioned that further debentures were issued 8% debentures for cash consideration on a floating charge on the assets of the company. So I will note down that also. Firstly, let me show you that it is in your fourth adjustment or information only like additional cash aapko mila tha and it was 8% debenture on a floating charge of company's assets. So, I have mentioned here, secured by floating charge on companies, assets, 8% debentures. These are new debentures. In this way, I need to take a total of long-term borrowing now. 3,85,000 that I will now note down in my balance sheet. Now, I can take a total of balance sheet liability side. 13,17,500 on liability side. Asset side. Next note, we need to prepare note number 3 for tangible fixed assets. Friends, in your tangible fixed asset, we record freehold property. You need not to see entries every time. Here clearly say, remaining freehold property is revalued at 387,500. So, this directly balance sheet. Next fixed asset is, next fixed asset is plant. Plant, we have not changed the amount at all. So, as it is, it will be copied. Friends, total of tangible fixes it is 437,500. Next is inventories, which is basically a stock. Inventories, let us see how much amount is given in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, inventory is given 4,25,000. We made the entry to write off the inventory by 65,000. So, from 425,000, I will minus 65,000. It is 360,000. In this way, we have done with inventory also. Now I will place this amount in my balance sheet. So friends, I have completed my balance sheet. Now let me take the total of assets side. Friends, in this way we have completed the balance sheet and now balance sheet is totaling correctly. Absolutely there should not be any doubt in your mind but still if there is any doubt please put in the comment box. Friends, if you like the video, please share it with your friends. Before I close the video, if you are watching video for first time, I request you to subscribe to our channel eGida for your benefit. Also share this channel with your friends so that they will also get benefit. Thank you for watching this video student. God bless you.